Well, hello again, YouTube. AJ Shaver from Shaver Sales here. And what we have going on today, I took out the eight-way star pattern wedge from the 2424, and we're going to set in this absolutely monstrous 12-way diamond wedge. So uh, definitely a two-man project, or at least a one-man project with the help of an E60 excavator. Uh, we'll pick this up, set it on the inside, but I just wanted to show you for sheer girth and size, this is a ginormous wedge. I mean, just the, the diamond pattern on the inside is bigger than my hat, so you kind of have the traditional four-way. Then we pop four triangles, and on top of each triangle is another set of wedges. It's just crazy. So we'll get this picked up, dropped in, and uh, start running some logs through it. So just a little bit better of a camera shot. This thing is big. I cannot... Uh, describe it's just it's all three quarter inch and one inch steel i mean it's just absolutely stupid huge and so i mean each piece is going to pound out of there all four corners then you get the big wedges up on top and uh, these pieces are actually built so when it sets down in there there's so much splitting tonnage coming across this that if you get a big round you don't want to walk it left or right so this gives it all the rigidity inside the trough there's actual pockets that the left and right sides slide into just to lock it in absolutely firm gave the ratchet strap a little twist hopefully it all works together the proper way i can get this dropped in without smashing any controls or anything else Does it? All right. Come on, spin back around. See if I can do this without killing myself. We're close. That wasn't horrible. It was almost like I knew what I was doing. All right, now that we have that wedge dropped in, I'll show you what the mechanics look like down here underneath. It's just that big C hook. A little linkage gets pushed in there, and that's what makes the wedge go up and down. Then uh, it's also all the armatures for the pivot side to side on the conveyor itself. And then in here, this is that heavy-duty pocket that I was telling you about for where the wedge sits. You can kind of see it over there. That's what kind of keeps it from twisting side to side. And there she is. All right, we got the wedge in, everything's up and running. So we'll see if we can't fire this bad boy up and run some stuff through this sweet 12-way. Here for the first time, kind of balance. 
balancing the four away in the middle of the log.
construction and it didn't happen. I was hoping to land it on top of the wedge or on top of the, the guard and let it roll in, but... didn't split all the way underneath. around here and clean up a few things but I got the uh, splitter trough is empty this conveyor is empty this conveyor is very very full we have a very significant amount of wood that spilled out of the bags plus I'm gonna go in and take this down about here and the same thing on that one is just to kind of clean it off. But there is a lot of wood that's between the bags, around the bags. So I'm going to venture to say we probably did a 10 minute cord because I played with the conveyor a little bit. And when I ended the video, it was 10 minutes and 58 seconds. And so between with what's on the conveyor and what's here and spilled over, it's probably pretty much gonna fill a third bag, which would give it a cord. 
All right, just so nobody says that I'm cheating, uh, I just wanted to show you the bags that we leveled off. That's about the proper amount there. And there, we just knocked off the excess between the, the bags. Still haven't touched the conveyor, that's still plenty full. So we got the same pieces back here. All right, probably gonna turn this one into a time lapse because I gotta collect all of this stuff here. I'm just trying to keep the camera going just to help the Karens out there understand that it really is possible to do a 10 minute cord with the bar saw machine. We produced the firewood, it just didn't make it all into the bag. So get her cleaned up and uh, empty that conveyor. I'll have to move that over and fill everything up. So there you have it, three full bags in just about 12 minutes worth of time. Uh, get the camera off the tripod here, we'll do a little close out, but there it is. All right, well that's probably one of the only real drawbacks to the firewood bags is if I can't see them, they tend to overflow. But uh, where my normal processor is set up, I got a pretty clear sight line of the bags, but the way this one's in there on an angle, I couldn't see those last two bags. That's why they heaped up so much and spilled and made a mess everywhere. But what are you gonna do? So we uh, processed that and right about, oh, I think the camera said about 10 minutes, 58 seconds. And that was with me moving the conveyor once. So is it possible to do a 10 minute cord? I'm gonna say yeah. And we didn't have really, really big stuff on there either. So I always say quantity in is your quantity out. Um, I would say the sweet spot on this wedge is probably in that 20 to 24 inch diameter. It would probably give you nice pieces the whole way around. I know with my 18, 24 and the 10 way wedge, it's about that 16 to 18 inch diameter. So um, again, this is a 24 or 24 from Brute Force. It is a used unit. So we just wanted to run uh, some logs through it, show you what it's all about, feature that 12 way diamond wedge. And uh, just want to say thanks for watching. And please remember, whenever we do these videos, we're not getting reimbursed by the manufacturer. This is a video that we're doing to sell you one of these products that we're just so lucky enough to sell. So please let us earn your business with the sales quote. Give us a phone call. It's 833-SPLITTER. That's 833-775-4887. You can also email me at sales at shaverequipment.com. And over on the website, we do have a request to quote page. If you just click on that, it'll run down everything that we have for sale. You can kind of click, pick and choose what you want, and then we'll get back to you with a number. And that uh, web address is just shaverequipment.com. It's S-H-A-V-E-R equipment.com. And uh, just again, want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget, 
forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And we hope to see you next time. And remember, we're always working hard to be lazy.